video is all about wildlife advice and this particular video will cover external proofing for wildlife so to stop rats and mice and getting into your property and any other wildlife that you don't want in there this video is for you even if you have not got any problems with rats or mice you want to make sure your property is proofed externally so you never get rats mice or other wildlife coming into your home this advice is good to listen to even if you don't have any rodents living in your building this is because prevention is always the best place to start a recurring rodent issue could be due to an external entry point where they are simply coming in from the outside until these entry points are sealed you can remove as many rodents as you want but it will not stop them getting back in again and again year after year this is why using poisons or kill traps are a complete waste of time and simply do not work as the mice or rats will simply come back in again through the same entry points and also how awful and inhumane these methods are they cause immense suffering to the target rodents and to non-target species and like i said before this even includes companion animals so we actively encourage you not to buy or use poisons or kill traps when there are more ethical and non-lethal ways of solving wildlife issues broken air vents are a common entry point for rodents so make sure you check that all your air vents on the outside of your building are in good working order and are not broken or bent. A mouse can squeeze through a gap as small as a pencil. So imagine putting a pencil in the gap. If a pencil's going to fit in there, there's a good chance a mouse might be able to squeeze through there too. And a rat can get through a gap as small as your thumb. Again, test the gap. Put your thumb in the gap. If your thumb fits, there's a good chance a rat can fit in there too. So you need to be aware of these sizes and these gaps and what potentially can get in them. So if you find holes these sizes or larger then you need to have the vent replaced or you can cover it over with a product called mouse mesh. Mouse mesh is a vent cover design that is rodent proof and even stops them chewing through the mesh. We have the link to mouse mesh in the description so please click on it and check out the products they offer. Another entry point rodents use is the gaps around pipes that come out of the house be it gas pipes or water pipes. If you look around the edges of these pipes, you can see the holes going right into the foundations and the structure of the walls of the building. And this is where the rodents get their entry. If you find larger gaps around the pipe on the outside of your building, then it'll be a good idea to seal up the pipes to make sure nothing can get in. You can do this by backfilling the hole with wire wool first, then either using a cement or a sealant to seal up the last bits of the hole around the piping. This should be enough to stop them getting back in again. Also be aware of damaged, rotten or broken door and window frames as they also provide an easy entry point into buildings for all sorts of rodents. The last key area for you to check is underneath your door. Most people don't realise but if you kneel down to the bottom level of your door, some doors have a good inch or two gap underneath them to the floor. It's these gaps underneath the doors that allow rodents easy access straight into the building. If you find that you have a large gap under the door then you'll need a door brush or commonly known as draft excluder to cover the gap but allow you to still freely use the door. We have a link in the description to guide you to a good draft excluder that could be used so go down to the description Click on the link and that will give you an idea of what you can use on the bottom of your doors. And this is for your front and your back door. With these different areas checked and sealed properly, your property should be perfectly proofed and stopping any rodents getting in in the first place. There are a few factors which could be out of your control. And these are if the entry points are on your neighbour's property and not yours. And the rodents access are coming through your neighbour's property and then through the walls and then into your property. If this is the case and the neighbour does not wish to fix the entry point or even know where the entry point is, the only choice you are left with is to proof your property internally. This is so the rodents can't get out of the walls from under the floor and into your property. 
but be sure to ask your neighbour to fix the entry point if you know where it is. Maybe even give them a hand to find it. Maybe even show them this video. If you do have rodents inside a property, then make sure you get advice from us before you seal up those holes. This is so we can make sure you have the best advice and follow the best plan to get rid of the rodents without harming them. That's all for today's video. I hope you found the content really useful and if you think other people will benefit from this advice, please do share with them. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also give the video a thumbs up show us that you approve of what we've uh, done today. If there's any questions you'd like to ask, put them in the comments section and we will get around to answering them as well. So thanks again for watching and look out for our future videos.